Hey, this is Auntie Fee about them facts. Good morning. How you doing? Listen. Key Glock. You know, I, you know, I know why I like you. Not because your swag. Because you know, Auntie Fee loves my swag now. You know, your swag is popping. I will say that. And you cute. Okay. But you make smart choices. You are very intentional. Good and bad, I'm sure. I ain't finna put you on no pedestal because, you know, you got NWA cutthroat on your neck. But that's been there a while, baby. So I ain't gonna read too much into that. But I real respect that you know you are up with an attitude. And you will <laughs> handle your business if you have to. So I'm not going to take that from you. But you're a very calculated, intentional person. And I dig that. Your intent is to make smart choices. That don't mean you're perfect. That don't mean you ain't, you know, caught up and will get caught up. But you're trying to move smart. That's what you're trying to do. And your teeth is pretty. Boy. Look at them teeth. They white and straight. Boy. And today we have a very special guest in the building. Memphis's very own Key Glock is here. Glizz is because your grandma's favorite color is yellow. Is mm -hmm. that why? Mm -hmm. My How? great grandma. Your great grandma's yeah. favorite color is yellow. Yeah. How did you? It was like the color was just focused. It was just. So my grandmother, her her daughter, which is my grandmother, told me, you know, like, no, you have a favorite color, which is one of my other favorite colors. Cause when I so as in as as intentional as his questions are to Glock, his responses are somewhat intentional as well. He's smarter now after dog. So when he tried to ask him uh, about how he rolling, what he got, the new car he got, he shut it down. You know why he shut it down? Because that's how Dolph got hit. Folk recognized his car. They recognized it. So it was easy to follow him, spin around when they saw it, and catch him off guard. All that, how did folk know he was going to be in Makita's? Did nobody say they knew he was going to be in Makita's? Hell, they recognized this car. They saw it. They spin around. They knew he was going to be at the photo shoot. Come on, y'all. Sometimes we act like we, like we can't connect dots. They was doing a video. Rolling down the street. Saw the car. Spent around. Hopped out. Now they may have been on their way to the photo shoot. Who knows? But when they saw his car. Yeah. Yeah, though. So, but when that thing comes, we know that they copied. They got about 10 on them. Yeah, because you got nine, right? 10. You have 10 now. Yeah, when I dropped that, I had nine, but I bought another. Okay, so that's 10. 10. And what was the new car that you bought? I, mean, I can't, I can't put that out. Okay, I ain't gonna put it out. Now nah, I ain't no secret, but everybody know what I, I already got, so I gotta keep at least one for yourself. For me, yeah, this is mm -hmm. how I always be like when, when someone catch on too much to what I'm doing or what I got going, I don't like it. Cause I, I want to be the only one with it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you want to stay in your own lane. So when somebody start to get hip to you, you change your. Not own only lane. do he stay in his own lane, he creates his own lane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious as to what you know, but you, you're very started to get hit to you, change and you on to the yeah, next when they one. think they hit to yeah, then you on to the next one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious as to what you know, but you, you're very intentional. I think about like your social media presence. You know, it, it we only see, we only get what we see. Right. We don't really hear from you that much in between. So who is who is Glock? Like what what do you do? Like what you know, everything is so mysterious. 
who is Glock besides the music and what is it that you that you're into? What do you do? Like what is it? So this is when he's about to let us know he ain't trying to replace Dolph. He ain't, he don't trust nobody. He don't want no uh, no. See, this is when you know our money ain't good money. No. He don't want no features. You know, he ain't trying to, he ain't trying to rub it. He ain't trying to get caught slipping. I can dig that. I, I, I dig him. <laughs> Cause he makes smart choices that supersedes money. See, that's how we get caught up and slipped up and chopped up and shot up. Because it's all about money to us. This young man right here, this young man right here is very selective and he has learned some valuable lessons. That no amount of money. <laughs> Listen, I like he Glock. I like him is out now mm -hmm. uh, as no surprise to anyone there's no features <laughs> on this entire person. why no features I mean we've never seen a feature with the exception of Glizok who is also you mm -hmm. it's a different person but it's the same vibe <laughs> so. alright still no features though Perfect. how come I'm gonna be honest bro I don't like nobody I don't know nobody like me I'm just Shout out to Complex for bringing us Key Glock. Yeah. He finna be real honest. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't like nobody. Don't nobody like me. I'm just put it out there. Just straight up. I don't know if I think that's true, though. I don't think you're no not an artist. You're saying amongst you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, I don't know if I agree though because because <laughs> I you know you do have songs with other people. Right? Yeah, it ain't it ain't even about so much that. It's just I'm not like other people. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm not too quick to do what other people don't do. So, you know. <laughs> well, what experiences have there been that you feel like people don't like you and that you don't like other people? I don't pay attention too hard like that, like into detail, but if you know, you know. I don't know too much to talk about. I, I've seen this happen a million times, you know, an artist will see another artist, yo, we gotta lock in, like we gotta get in the studio. <laughs> like I'm not even I don't even play like that. So if an artist says to you, yo, we gotta lock in, like, how do you say like how do you politely be like Because obviously you're not gonna put the feature on your album. Uh, it don't even it don't be the conversation don't even be like that, bro, because, like, niggas already kind of know I did ain't what I'm on. Yeah. Like, so, in other words, they don't even step to him like that, because they already know. So, he don't have to reject them. Just don't even come to me like that, because the only person that he trusted to do that with is Young Dog. He is not trying to replace Young Dog. So don't even come me like that. He don't even want you close. He don't even want you. He don't even want to play the game with you. I can dig that. If you if you know what you know and you see what you see, you know you, you sit back and you watch how people move, and you know you don't want that around you. No man, I can't. Mm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm cool. Dolph gave me enough. He taught me enough that I could rise to the occasion my way. Ain't no different than him, uh, Dolph turning down that, that big old, big old money. He taught him his worth. That's what's up, Key Clyde. I can dig it. Sir, sir, once you know your worth, <laughs> ain't no amount of money. Well, that is, nah. But you don't compromise yourself. You don't put yourself sometimes intentionally put yourself in uncompromising positions for money. 
That's what he learned. That's what he displaying. And that's why he rising on top of his game. He hurt. He don't trust nobody. I can dig it. Ain't nothing like a smart, calculated thug. Because, see, a reckless thug will get you killed. A reckless thug don't care about nothing or nobody. Wild out and everything that uh, that love them uh, or wind up getting killed before they get killed. They don't care about nobody. A reckless thug is selfish and self-centered. But a smart thug, a well-thought-out thug who moves intentionally <laughs> And for the most part, try to move in a way that protects everything that he loved and love him. I can dig that. If, if I got to have a thug, you know. But everybody like a little thug. But my choice of one is a smart, calculated one. Looks is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he cute. He real cute. But I'd rather them be smart and calculated and, ah, uh, you know, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But if he cute, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Ladies, listen. Stop stop always going for the body-body ones and the gun-toting, gun-shooting, shoot up everybody. Just reckless. Because them reckless thugs going to get you killed. And them too. You and that you don't like other people. Like what? What's what's happened? I don't pay attention too hard like that, like into detail. But if you know, you know. Mm, you not too much time about. So then, when an artist, you know, maybe I, I've seen this happen many times. You know, an artist will see another artist. Yo, we gotta lock in. Like we gotta get in the <laughs> studio. Like I'm not even. I don't even play like that. So if an artist says to you, Yo, we gotta lock in. Like. How do you say, like, how do you politely be like, because obviously you're not going to put the feature on your album. Uh, it don't even, it don't, it, the conversation don't even be like that, bro, because, like, niggas already, they already know. know, like, that ain't what I'm on. Yeah. Like, We've seen J. Cole do that, you know, he went through that will ever happen for you. Will you ever maybe allow someone else to be a feature on your project? I don't know. I, I don't plan on it, put it like that. Okay. I don't want to say no, and... Couple years later, they bring this up and like you said, you was. You said you was never going yeah, to do it. Yeah, so I don't plan on it. It's the safe way. It's yeah, the safe I don't way. Plan on it. Now, you always the other thing that you were focused on? Something else. But Calculate. Has it, yet? Is it, has it <laughs> Yeah, it's in y'all face. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. It's just, I just haven't put it into works yet. Okay. My way, put it like that. Are you still working on whatever said thing is? Oh, yeah, always. For life, five life. Like, yeah, is I it mean. a musical endeavor? Is it a separate entity? Like, what type? Of... <laughs> so, is it something that we'd be surprised to know that Glock is doing? Yeah. Yeah. Thing that you were working on hits the masses. What do you think the reaction will be? Like, what, how will people react to it? The way I want them to react. Which is? In a way of happiness. You know, what? I don't think nothing but positive, so it ain't, of course, nothing negative. Like, you know. Okay, you're very really cryptic about it. I can't wait to see what this yeah, is. Yeah, I, I can't let you get too much out of it. You try it, though. I'm just curious, you know what I'm saying? I'm just curious. You, know, you try it, though. I'm just curious, you know what I'm saying? I'm just curious. You know? I heard you was like, yeah, I'm working on something. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And then you also said that you weren't going to drop a deluxe to Yellow Tape 2. But now here we are. Yeah. So what made you want to change your mind? Because I didn't want to put a... Uh, a newer, a fresher tape out mm -hmm. because of what just happened with my uh, yellow tape too, with the original tape. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to continue what bro started for me with that, you know what I'm saying? So let's finish out what he wanted me to do with it. Then I'm going on to do it. That's what bro started for me with that, you know what I'm saying? So let's finish out what he wanted me to do with it. Then I'm going on to do it.
And that's my way. Gotcha. So, I heard a blogger yesterday I was on, on this channel. Uh, shout out to Double Tap TV. Hey, man. <laughs> and uh, he mentioned some of Dolph's music about him sacrificing himself. <laughs> mm, yeah. So, <laughs> sacrificing himself, none of that Illuminati stuff. It's just business. It is... <laughs> Y'all, come on now. I know y'all see what's happening. But anyway. So, yeah. I dig the fact that Dolph somewhat sacrificed himself in order to elevate his artists. I saw it before. Same thing uh, Mo3 did. He sacrificed himself. To elevate his artists. Y'all catch that little light on. Started for me with that, you know what I'm saying? So I just finished out what he wanted me to do with it. Then I'm going on and do it. And that's my way. That's what it's Now there was a tweet that you let out that had a lot of your fans upset. You said, finna go to acting school. <laughs> Doing music don't hit the same. <laughs> what made you say? It was 50-50. Because I'm not finna go to acting school. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Unless they make me, I don't feel like I need it. I got it. You already, you already have it. Yeah, just give me the script. You're good. Great. Okay, so that's the thing. <laughs> that's the first half. And then how about the other half? Do you still? Do you actually feel that way? Like music is not really hitting the same for you right now? Yeah. I, yeah. I have my days. Put it like that. I'm some time with it right now. Yeah. Like I'm. I'm. I'm in it, but I'm not in it. The same, like I used to, you know? How come? You know why, but, you know. Does it feel like sometimes, you know, maybe you're at a different stage in your life, like, you know, back then you were hungry, you were young, you were trying to get on, and now that you that you got onto the degree that you did, maybe it's not everything that you imagined? No, it it's dolphin. Uh, not even as it is, it's... And you don't need nothing, man. Oh. Words can't even explain like how I really feel about this shit right now. Yeah. yeah. So I just I just try my best to like look over it, but I can't. Like, yeah. This shit, this, this shit stuff with me forever. No, nah, that's real. I mean, and you don't need nothing, man. Oh. Words can't even explain like how I really feel about this shit right now. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I try my best to like look over it, but I can't. I yeah. This shit, this, this shit stuck with me forever. No, nah, that's real. I mean, so. Uh, for sure. There's something else that you said on the line that I think is funny. Um, you said, I don't give a fuck about nothing. I don't even fuck with my cousin. Yeah. Well, first of all, the line is hilarious. But is that real? Do you really not fuck with your cousins? Or yeah, you I got cousins that I don't fuck with. Don't you got cousins that don't fuck with me? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It wasn't talking like a particular cousin, but... Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like, are, are, essentially, are you saying... I got that? some friends that I'm closer to than actually. Like, absolutely. Like, absolutely. Yeah. It's like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's just... a saying that sometimes people, they'll be like, um, you know, the difference between friends and family is like, you don't choose your family, you just kind of born with them, but you decide who your friends are going to be. Absolutely. So that's why sometimes people are closer to their friends because they decided mm -hmm. that they want to be cool with them versus the family. They might not even like them. Is that kind of what your vibe is? No. Like, like I'm the mom of the child. My mom only got one brother, but my grandmother got eight siblings. Mm -hmm. And like... We just always been like divided, like you know what I'm saying, like every, you know how it is, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah I just ain't close. You know, it's just money like, <laughs> don't change nothing. Like if anything, you make it worse. Yeah, Absolutely. Really yeah. How has money kind of changed 
the people around you? Because they say the money don't actually change you. Everyone else start acting different. Have you noticed that over the course of the last few years? <laughs> I know how to deal with it. What, what's the best way to deal with it? I'm just, but I try not to look at it like negative. I just look at it the way like I'm just able. I'm the person that can do this for someone. Basically, that's how I just look at it instead of looking at it like they mooching. Negativity all the right. time. When, I when I know people using me, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't, I don't let they get the best of me. I just know what kind of heart I got. So I'm just, I just be, I just be happy. I'm the one that can give. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I ain't growing up. I ain't have nobody like, like myself that's that'll do anything for me whenever, no matter what. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But just how I am. Yeah. And now, did you ever have any doubt along the journey that you would become that person? Like, did you imagine as a kid that you would be this successful and be able to help people? Yeah, I always, I always knew. I, was, I ain't never, like, doubted myself that I wasn't going to make it or, you know what I'm saying? I always told myself, I told my grandma, I'm, like, I'm going to be rich. Like, I didn't know what, like, what in particular that I was going to be doing. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, if if hip hop didn't work out and you didn't stop, perhaps you could have been rich playing football. Because you say that football is something that you oh when you're watching the game, you're like, man, I want to get back out there. Yeah, sure. Do you feel like if you never quit that you would have had a legitimate chance to most to definitely that game? most definitely. Yeah. And what what type of guy were you out there on the field? I played slot. Receiver. Mm-hmm. Right. But you was not great. <laughs> great? Great. And then how about on the on the hoop side? I mean I I, I was nice on the hoop. I heard I be hearing I'm better in football. Better but in football. So but which do you love more? I love them both the same. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Like, you know everybody loves basketball, even people who can't play basketball. Right. Like, they love this shit. Everybody <laughs> loves basketball. Exactly. It's really a part of the industry. Like that. It's changed the way they act or way. But it seems like you've kind of just done everything your own way. You think you go farther that way. You just be yourself. I guess when you go wrong trying to switch up when it's, you know what I'm saying, at the wrong time. Yeah. Like, I'm all about timing. So I just I just be myself. I just roll with the flow. Right. Yeah. But it's hard because, you know, once you start getting a little buzz and, you know, most times here come the labels and here come the... It ain't hard, though, because what people don't know is, like, even the most of people on the come up, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and buy- here you go. Key Glock, y'all. After Dolph's death, now he has to put together what Dolph has instilled in him and make it manifest. That's the birth. This is the birth of the real musical, rapping, acting, key glock. This was pre-planned, premeditated. This was planned by Dolph.